Hi, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations, and today I'm going to show you a coffee table makeover idea. Let's get started. I found this coffee table, which had been repainted a few times at a garage sale for just $5. I wasn't sure what this coffee table was made out of, so I took a sanding block and I lightly sanded the table. This would stop me from accidentally sanding through something that might not be wood. Scuffing the surface can help the paint stick better. After sanding the piece, I then cleaned the entire thing with crud cutter. This would get it all ready for painting. Next, I was ready to paint and I would be using Bare Premium Cabinet and Trim Enamel in the color Dayflower. Now you can hand paint this if you want. I chose to put the paint in my Wagner paint sprayer. I love this paint sprayer. It is so fun to use and kind of therapeutic while you're putting the paint on. This paint has a primer built in and is water-based, which I absolutely love because that means easy cleanup. It also helps me clean my paint sprayer out really easily as well. Once the entire piece was painted, I let it dry completely before moving on. For the top of the table, I'll be using Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, and it comes in two parts, the resin part A and the hardener part B. I started by pouring part A, the resin, into a measuring cup. Next, I poured in part B, which is the hardener, and they need to be equal parts. I set a timer and slowly stirred the resin and the hardener together for three to five minutes. It is important to stir it slow so that you don't create a bunch of bubbles. Once mixed, I poured the clear mixture into three different bowls and I made sure to reserve some of the clear mixture for some other steps. For this next step, I would be using Folk Art Acrylic Paint in the colors True Blue, Ocean View, and Titanium White. I put a little paint into each of the bowls of clear color. Next, using Popsicle Stir Sticks, I slowly mixed the color into the clear mixture. It was time to get started on the tabletop. I started by pouring the darkest mixture first at the top part of the table. I next poured the ocean view in the middle part of the table. With gloves on, I smeared the mixture all over the top of the table and tried to blend the dark and the medium blues together. I wanted a little more blending, so I added a little more of the dark blue and the medium blue and mixed them together some more with my gloved hand. Next, I wanted to start working on the waves a bit. So I parred a line of clear epoxy between the dark blue and the light blue, and then at the bottom of the light blue. I then repeated with the white mixture on top of the clear mixture. Next, I'll be using my Wagner heat gun. On the highest fan setting, but the coolest heat setting, I began using the heat gun to push the mixture around, creating the wave effect. I finished adding clear epoxy to the front end of the table where it didn't have any epoxy yet. I added some more paint as I wanted a little bit darker middle section and then I also added more clear and white to create the waves. Then again taking my time I used the heat gun to push around the mixture making the waves on top of the table. The trick I learned was to start by with the air force down right on top of the white color, which then dispersed it, and then follow the mixture as it floats around, creating the look that you want to with the waves. You can make the waves go up or down, and it was a lot of fun just creating all the different waves that I wanted to. And I just kept going until I created the look that I want. One note that I made for next time, I'll be putting my hair back in a clip as I did get some epoxy in my hair. Here's a quick look at the tabletop while it was still wet, and now I would leave it alone and let it dry completely. I am absolutely so excited with how this table turned out, and I love the waves. I love that everything I worked with was so easy, from the bare paint, to the Wagner paint sprayer, to the Total Boat resin, and the Wagner heat gun. Do you know someone who would like a table like this? Are you ready to give this project a try? I hope this inspires you to make over a coffee table of your own. I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog, and be sure to ring the bell on YouTube to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.